Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, so I know there are a ton of people out there that love Disney, so I thought I would do a Bolo Disney video. Um, so basically, Disney Bolos, Disney items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and sell high. And again, I don't have any idea what anybody paid for these items because these are not featured sellers, but, um, It'll give you an idea of what to be on the lookout for. If you see it cheap, definitely grab it, okay? So we're gonna get started here. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do that below. If you click that little bell, that'll alert you when I post new videos. This is a great learning channel. It does not excuse you from searching solds when um, you are outsourcing. If you can pick the item up for a buck or two, I always say grab it and go. If you think it's a bolo because you're gonna make your money back. But if it's 10, 15 and on up, Definitely do your research because just because you saw it on this channel, number one, things to be on the lookout for change all the time. The market is constantly changing. Now, some things are always a bolo and some things are not always a bolo. So just do your research. So, all right, we're going to get started. I know I say so a lot. All right. So the first item here, and this only had one bid, but it's super cute. It's a Walt Disney button up shirt from the 1950s or 1960s, it's children's, it's so, so cute. I love it, oh my gosh, it's cute. Um, it sold for $79.99 with free shipping. I love this video, or this soon to be what you're going to see video because it's just got such cool stuff. All right, the next one here is this comb. Um, Epcot plastic comb, it's got the little dragon. Guys, it's just a comb. And it sold for $48.77, six bids. Crazy. Again, I don't know if this seller just got lucky on this one or if these are something that you should definitely, I mean, I would think you could still sell it for 10 or 15, but $48, my word. Okay, so this is a, um, it says World War II Trail Navy Minesweeper Ship Disney Pluto Military Patch. So I didn't know they made Disney military patches, but how cool is that? And this sold for $57.99 with three bids and free shipping. It's got Pluto the dog on it, huh? All right, so here we go with um, it's four vintage Valentines. Super, super cool. I love these. They're adorable. I totally get why they sold for so much because people collect these things and these are even used but vintage Valentines are a definite bolo. Some more than others. I don't know the details of what exactly people are looking for, but die cut is when they're like kind of cut out into the shape of things. The die cuts I know do well, um, but these are super cute. I can see Disney collectors eating these up. 5750 is what these sold for with three bids. And these are um, all Disney. It says mechanical, so I'm thinking maybe I was looking here at the back. They must do something. Not sure what they do. It's hard to, maybe, does he pedal the bike maybe? I don't know. All right, the next one here is, okay, so these are uncut doll patterns and these are like Disney, Mickey Mouse and you know the three little pigs and Bambi it looks like, Thumper, Dumbo, and those look like the old Mickey Mouses. So super cool. And these sold for $58.88. Uh, one bid plus shipping. My question is, would these have sold for more if they would have sold each of these separately? Because somebody may only want Mickey Mouse or they may only want, you know, Bambi or whatever. You get where I'm going with that. But if, if these were on a buy it now and you just kind of waited for the right buyer, you might have been able to do like 50 each and just waited because I'm telling you, sometimes it just takes the right buyer, but still definitely a bolo. All right, the next one here, this is so cool. It's a photograph Disney postcard. Um, so cool. And this is from the 1930s. It had 10 bids and it sold for $62 free shipping. All right, so this is uh, wallpaper, and I just sold some Minnie Mouse, um, Minnie and Mickey, and it was wallpaper, and I had like three rolls, and it was vintage. 
I didn't, I mean, mine ended up going for like 30 bucks, I think. I mean, I was happy with that. I think I paid a buck or two for it. I think it was a dollar. But you can see this is only one roll. And this went for $60, five bids plus $19 shipping. So I guess it just, you know, depends on what the person's looking for. And I probably could have held out, but um, I was happy with it. I made some money and somebody got a good deal. So this is a park map from 1968. It sold for $80, 10 bids, free shipping. Crazy. So if you're ever like at an estate sale and there's like a whole book of like a scrapbook of miscellaneous stuff and there's anything Disney, definitely think about it. Here's another one. Um, this is a Florida map guide from 1971 and it's got the Disney World opening on the front. I don't know if there's other Disney stuff on the inside. Um, this sold for $18.20. Not, not a huge bolo, but it's just a travel map, guys. I mean, you could probably pick it up for a quarter or something. Uh, one bid, 1820 free shipping. So not a huge one, but still cool. All right. I don't know what this is. It says vintage Bambi string holder. What is a string holder? Anybody know? It's like this string coming out of its mouth. I want to see what the back looks. I, I don't understand. But there were quite a few of these listed. Chalk character. I, I don't know. So let's see if it tells us. It's made of chalk, no chips or cracks, all original paint. Wire hanger on the back. I, I still don't know what it is. The string comes out of his mouth. Okay, so I still don't understand the point. See, they need a video. They need one of those videos in this one. If you want to learn how to add a YouTube video to the description of your um, listing, I have a video on that in my on my YouTube channel. So check it out. It's really cool. And it's for something like this, it might help explain it because I'm not getting it. Sure, somebody knows. But this thing sold for $104.53 with six bids. And there were other ones when I was going through solds, different characters that were up in the hundreds also. So I don't know. Okay, so this is a little... Um, 1938 it's like a tin sand pail it's got mickey mouse on it and this sold for 124.27 with 19 bid bids this is a crib baby blanket comforter minnie mouse and pluto and uh, minnie and mickey and they're like the baby minnie and mickey like as babies characters i don't know does that make sense if you're not watching <laughs> They're not like adult Minnie and Mickey. They're like baby Minnie and Mickey. It's kind of funny. But this sold for $125, 68 bids, $8 shipping. <clears throat> the next one here is this vintage fabric. It's Mary Poppins. It's just fabric, guys. Sold for $74.99. Only one bid, but that's all it takes. All right, so this is a Mickey Mouse watch box. This is the box only with the instructions. So I would say somebody who has the watch that does not have the box and instructions might want this. This sold for $146.94 with nine bids. So I'm guessing quite a few people have the watch without the box because that's a lot of money for a box. All right, so this is a vintage Tinkerbell ceramic box from the 1950s. Super cute. It went for $166.66. It's not that cute. 15, 15 bids plus shipping. All right, so I just did a video on, um, this is a Goodwill store, and I did a video, a Bolo video on this, but um, this is how I found the Goodwill store. They had this Mickey Mouse jacket listed. So be sure to um, check out that Bolo video. You'll like it. Uh, this sold for one ninety two fifty fifteen bids. All right, so the Viewmaster, it's a three pack. I only see two, but it says three, so I'm confused. Uh, and it's got all the little, I don't know what they're called, these things, and then it's got the other things here. So anyway, this sold for one seventy three with twenty nine bids plus shipping. And then here we have this Disney Cinderella music box. So adorable. 
and this sold for $187.50 with seven bids and shipping was $20. So I imagine packaging for that, you know, maybe that's why shipping was so high. It's, I wouldn't think it would be too heavy, but all right. The next one here is this pencil set and super cool. It's a vintage Mickey Mouse pencil box, Dixon, Walt Disney pencil set. I love this. Um, so it opens up and it's not even, it, everything's used in it, but it's got a little ruler. I don't even know if these items are original to the packaging, but super cool. Sold for $212.50, 19 bids. Super awesome. All right, so this is just a vintage uh, Mickey Mouse t-shirt. It's the um, cowboy Mickey. And here's the tag. This sold for $232.50 with 35 bids, free shipping. All right, so I've heard about these. I've never actually seen one, but they're Walt Disney World pre-Duffy plush bear hidden Mickey. I don't know. I'm sure somebody watching this knows about the hidden Mickey. If you can uh, comment below and tell us about it, enlighten us, that would be awesome. This one still has the tags on it. So I don't know why it's called Hidden Mickey, but you can see here on the feet, it's got the little Mickey Mouse. And then if you look at its face, you know, it's kind of looks like Mickey Mouse. Maybe that's why, I don't know. I don't know why it's called Hidden Mickey. Let's see if it tells us. Pre -duff. They believe it's called Pre-Duffy. So don't know, it doesn't say. Anyway, sold for $243 with 12 bids, free shipping. All right, so these are unused Walt Disney World ticket vintage, 1970s, 80s, Discovery Land Passport. These sold for $265. 27 bids, free shipping. Crazy. Okay, so this is funny. This is very funny to me. This is a Disneyland hotel vintage queen quilted bedspread. I have, it says California prop, Anaheim, California prop. I don't know how they know this, but if you look here, you can see, you know, it's got like the guest Disney themes. I don't know. I don't see if there's like a tag that they show us. No, nope, not seeing anything. But anyway, this sold for $255, two bids plus shipping. I mean, did they, how did they get it? Did they take it from the hotel? Because it looks like it's, wait, let me go back, sorry. Where did, did I lose it? I mean, is, is this a hotel it's in? Is this someone's house? Looks like maybe someone's house. Anyway, I don't know, kind of funny. Uh oh, my battery, I'm losing my battery. I gotta go plug in. You guys are coming with me. Hang on. All right, so this is an Aladdin vintage Disney crew jacket. Sorry, I gotta plug my computer in. I've been on here. I, this is like my third video I recorded, so let me get plugged in so I don't lose you. All right, it's a little darker over here. Okay, so vintage Aladdin crew jacket from 1993. Sold for two fifty five with four bids. Let's see, that's it. That's all it is. Want to see the front? Do they have a full front view or not? Hmm. So I guess there's just nothing on the front. This is the back. That might be the front. Pictures aren't the greatest. It's kind of hard to tell. So okay, so it's got the little. I wanted to see what that little patch was. There it is on the front. Anyway, it sold for $255, four bids plus shipping. All right, this is a birthday card. Six, year, six years old, happy birthday Hallmark card from the 1930s. And it is used, it's signed. This sold for $306 and one cent. <laughs> 13 bids plus shipping. That's amazing. I want to see other items. 
see if they're selling other cards. If it was just like a lucky find, it looks like sometimes when people sell cards, they sell a bunch of cards. Nope, I don't see any. The next one here is this uh, Mickey Mouse uh, lunchbox with thermos. Sold for $310 with 81 bids. Okay, so I saw quite a few of these. Um, they're promo collector's glasses and they're, they're Disney. This is something that I feel like you could find like at a thrift store or a garage sale and somebody probably wouldn't know how valuable it is. Um, it says W.D. I'm trying to see. I don't know. Anyway, $379.96 this sold for with 38 bids. It's got a rabbit on the front. It says maxi hair. Mm, I don't know. Oh, right here's the um, WD and then ENT. So that is what you're looking for. I think I had another one. Here. Yep. So again, right down here's the branding W.D.ENT. And it's got the little C with a circle around it. This one sold for 400 with 35 bids, and it's got Toby the tortoise. So anyway, be on the lookout for those guys. Okay, so this is a circuit, or cricket? I, I don't, C-R-I-C-U-T. I don't know what this is. 21 cartridges, Disney. Um, huh, let me look at the pictures here. So, okay. Cricut, C-R-I-C-U-T, I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know what this is, I've never seen anything like it. Tags, bags, boxes, and more. So it's some sort of maybe crafting thing. Huh, I don't know, but it sold for 271.08, 18 bids, so definitely something to be on the lookout for. I will now be on the lookout for this, that's totally cool. All right, now, there were, um, when I was searching Disney sold, there's tons of Dooney and Bur Burke, I think, or Bork. I don't know how to even say it. I obviously don't shop this bag company, but there's a bunch of vintage, or not vintage, um, a bunch of these uh, bags, purses, and they're Disney. And they all are selling for big money. So um, here's one, it's pre-owned that went for 300. I don't know what they retail for, but if you happen to see a Disney one at a garage sale or an estate sale, definitely think about picking it up. Again, I don't know if these are faked a lot. I know some of the higher end bags are, but um, so be careful, but if you can get it cheap, the Disney ones sell well. All right, so this is a Walt Disney Comics and Stories. Uh, I think it's a, it's a comic, so it's, I was thinking maybe it was a book. There's only one photo which is disappointing. I don't know, know why people only do one photo. Like I'd like to see like a picture of the inside or the back. But anyway, they sold it for 326, seven bids, $8 shipping. So what do I know, right? This is a greeting Japanese Mickey Mouse postcard. Antique, it says, and it sold for $331 and one cent, 18 bids. So funny how many of these end in 01. It's like that one cent like made them win the auction maybe. I don't know. So these are the Disney Epcot World uh, ear hats. And it looks like they have UK, Mexico, Italy, Germany, Canada. So that's really cool. Um, these sold for $355 with 43 bids. The next one here is this Tiki drummer mug this guy sold for three hundred and fifty two dollars and forty two cents with 34 bids and i actually just did a the four brands of mugs that sell best um i just did a bolo video on that recently and you can find that in my um on my youtube channel so be sure to check that out all right, so this is a Disney Princess, the Disney Castle Lego set. Sold for $293 with six bids, plus 
$74 shipping. That's odd. But this looks like it retails for $349. Are you kidding me? Do people pay that much money for a Lego set? Holy cow. So $293 is pretty good. That's like a discount. What on earth? I mean, it is big. It's got 4,080 pieces, but wow. I did not realize how expensive Lego sets were. Jeepers. Okay, so this is a Lady in the Tramp vintage 50s um, circle skirt, which it's got cats on it, it looks like. I thought Lady in the Tramp was dogs, no? Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. It's been a long time since I watched that. Huh. Anyway, whatever. I'm sure the seller knows because this sold. Oops. Why am I stuck? Well, I'm stuck, guys. It's not letting me out, so I can't tell you what it sold for. Come back to it. All right, so this is a Disney Store snow globe. The Rescuers. There they are. This must be a rare, hard to find one because it sold for $456.11 with 82 bids. Come on. I want to see what it sold for. Why is it stuck? Go away. Yep. Sorry. I know it sold for a lot. Let me try something. All right, it sold, <laughs> my little trick there. It sold for $1,008.57 with five bids. Now I gotta find where I was. Okay, so the next one here is this Mickey Mouse double flap waffle maker. $1,225? Are you serious? 38 bids, 29 shipping. This is what it makes. It is kind of cool, but my word. That is a lot of money. All right, so next we have the pins, the Disney limited edition pins. This is for 68 of them. And I did not look them up individually to see what they sell for, but... 68 of them sold for $1,435, 21 bids, plus shipping. All right, so we all know about Pez dispensers, and I don't think all of these are Disney, but some of these are Disney. Maybe they are all, no, Santa Claus wouldn't be Disney, right? Anyway, this lot sold for $1,534, 33 bids, plus shipping. All right, so this is cool. This is an autograph sign check from First National Bank. And it says, Walter Disney. And it sold for $2,125.03 with 11 bids. Free shipping. So you can see Walter Disney. How cool is that? That is super cool. Where on earth does somebody find something like that? Trying to see if it says, I found this at an estate sale. No. One day auction. Huh? Why? Why would you do one day? I mean, imagine how much more exposure you could have gotten with a seven day listing. I don't know. Would you have done a one day or a seven day? Comment below. All right. So this is one of those. Is it? I don't never, I never know how to pronounce that. F-U-N-K-O. Funko, Funko, ah, Pop, Clown, Dumbo. Anyway, this sold, it says 48 pieces. Now I'm confused. I don't know what the 48 pieces means. But this sold for $3,551. I have no idea why. 
So definitely do your research. I don't know if this is like a special one or, but it's Dumbo. That's a lot of money. 21 bids plus shipping. All right, so this is a, another Walt Disney Epcot t-shirt. And it's got the, I don't know if it's a dragon holding a rainbow with a pot of gold. $50, 28 bids, $6 shipping. All right, the next one here are these Disneyland poster card holders. Did I already do this one? I feel like I already did this one. Anyway, these sold for $110.50, 49 bids. Why do I feel like I did this? Maybe because I was looking for these earlier. I don't know. Anyhow, $110 for these postcards. 49 bids, $6 and shipping. Sorry. Yeah, I thought I did this one. That's weird. If I already did these, sorry guys, I don't know what I did. But anyway, if I didn't, oh, I know what happened. I had these in one of my other videos. Um, okay. I was thought I was losing my mind. Okay, so there's uh, four brochures here. And these are from the 1950s and they sold for $111.50. 21 bids, $6 shipping. So I think we just went through like, I think there was 45 of these um, Disney bolos. Pretty cool. If you have ever sold a Disney item and you consider it to be a bolo, something to be on the lookout for, share with us below, put it in the comments, tell us what you bought it for and where you got it and what you sold it for. And if you wanna be featured on my channel, definitely get in touch with me. Information on that's down below. Join my Facebook group and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.